Hey, welcome back YouTube fans. Back again here demonstrating how to change a alternator on a 2004 Chevy Malibu 3.5 liter engine. So follow along while I demonstrate how to swap out alternators. So first what we want to do is you want to disconnect your battery cable first before you get started. And you want to disconnect the negative end. Like so, remove this air box. Remove this hose. And just with a screwdriver, take away these clamps off. Take off this screw here. And this screw here. So one moment while I get the tools for that. Okay, as you see, I took the air box out the way. Now I gotta take the belt off. And to take the belt off, I have to relieve the tension from the tension puller. I have to relieve, I have to relieve the tension from the tension puller right there and you do that with a breaker bar you do that with a breaker bar or a half inch drive I'm using a half inch drive since it has the ratchet action I'm gonna relieve the tension remove the belt you place the ratchet in the hole here Make sure it goes in. And you relieve the tension off the belt, like so. While holding it with one hand, you just slide the belt off. Remember how the belt goes on. You just slide the belt off and release the tension, like so. Now, you want to remove this bolt here, this bolt here, and there's two bolts here in the back, one on this side. I'm trying to get the camera off in there so you can see it. One here. And one here. I don't know if you can see that. One here. So you're gonna remove those three bolts and the alternator will come off. And those are 15 millimeters. And also you can remove this, but you don't have to remove this bolt really, not necessarily. 15 millimeters. I've took the bolts out in the back. So now I just need to get a screwdriver so I can pry it up and pull it out. So give me a moment while I do that. Now that we have it loose, we want to take the bars off of it right here, which is a 13 millimeter. And then once you take that off, you have one that you have to unsnap, which is right here. And you can just take a screwdriver, lift it up, push it out, and there it is, like that, okay? So let me do that, and I'll be right back with you. 
the alternator that I had was the wrong alternator. So of course I had to go and search and I didn't find one. So I had to have my old one rebuilt. At m and Auto, they did a pretty good job as you see. They cleaned it up, rebuilt it for me, tested it. I got a lifetime warranty on it. So now, just to put it back on. And like I said before, just to put it on is the reverse of taking it out. So, bear with me while I do that. And we'll get it on and test it and see how good of a job it is. First, we want to start off by connecting the wires back to it. Okay, so take your 13 millimeter and tighten it down. Usually don't take no more than about 10 pounds of pressure. Then we're gonna connect the connector back to the connector. Like so. Make sure you recover the wire with the rubber boot so you don't create a spark or anything. And remember that bolt in the back? And it has this little groove that you can slide it on. So you wanna make sure you slide that onto that bolt in the back and then drop it in place. Once you do that, but before you do that, actually, because this bolt is so long, I'm gonna put this bolt in place first. Then, we'll slide it on there. Now that it's on, you wanna tighten up the bolt in the back. So make sure the bolt in the back is started. And before you tighten them all up, you want to slide all your bolts in place and make sure they're all screwed in. Make sure they're all screwed in so you won't have no problems with getting them in once you start tightening all the bolts. So make sure you put all the bolts in first before you tighten them. That way, you make sure they're already in the grooves and they're started. So once you tighten them, you won't have to worry about them getting cross-threaded, stuck, or anything. They'll already be started. Then the last thing to do, well not the last, the very last thing, but the next thing to do is to rerun your belt. Make sure you get them around all your pillies the correct way. So you take your half inch drive, stick it back in the hole. To the right. That's why I like this drive. You can put extensions on the end of it. Release the tension while you hold it. Put your belt in place. Before you let go, double check. Make sure your belt is going around everything like it should. Everything's in the groove. And then release the tension. So now, as you see, you have completely put the alternator back on. Everything was in reverse. Simple. I could have had this done within 30 minutes to an hour, but because of the fact that I had to go and get the right alternator, it took me to the next day. But now everything is complete. We're gonna put our air box back here in place, tighten it down. We're gonna reconnect the battery cable 
and start up and see how she do. Bear with me while I put the box back in. Now you see we got her all back together. Alternators back in place and tightened down. We got the belt back on. We put the air box back in. The hose connected it. Now the next thing for the do is connect the pot negative back. Tighten it down. Now, let's start her up and see how well she runs. So now we're on the inside and we have to start her up for a test run. So that's how you change an alternator on the 2004 Chevy Malibu 3.5 liter engine. Thank y'all for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button for more videos.